Cruising along with Crimson and Cream Machine's 12 teams in 12 days. Today we look at Oklahoma's November 3rd opponent, the Iowa State Cyclones. Despite losing 26-6 to Oklahoma and Norman and finished 6-7 on the season last year, our very own Richard DeCray has marked this game as a possible upset for the Sooners. Don't laugh. Seriously, don't laugh. Oklahoma State fans aren't laughing at that. There's a bit of a quarterback controversy brewing after Still Jans was named the starter to start 2011, replaced by Jared Barnett because of injury. It was Barnett who led that uh, comeback win in overtime over the Oklahoma State Cowboys, the marquee win of the 2011 season. We'll see how that plays out by the time these two teams play each other early November. That should be settled. However, the guy we're going to watch on this side of the ball is running back James White, who averaged 4.7 yards per carry in 2011. With the quarterback situation being unsettled, it puts more pressure on the running back to make sure things are loosened up, defenses play honest, and there's, that's where White comes into play. Another thing to note about the Iowa State offense in 2011, they allowed 27 quarterback sacks. No wonder Steel Jans got hurt. On the defensive side of the ball, Iowa State gave up 29.6 points per game last year. They do have the best linebacker duo in all of the Big 12, in my opinion, with A.J. Klein and Jake Knott. Last year, Klein had 116 tackles. Knott was just right behind him with 115. This is a team that will force Oklahoma to pass the football and beat them through the air than rather on the ground. The fear factor for this game is that it's Ames, Iowa, early November. Who knows what the weather's going to be like. It could very well be a nice afternoon or it could be bitter cold. We just don't know until we get there. To secure a victory over Iowa State, the Sooners are going to have to go to the air. If it's a cold and bitter day in Ames, that makes that task even that much more difficult. Make sure you check us out every day at CrimsonandCreamMachine.com for the latest news, updates, and info on Oklahoma as they head into the 2012 football season. SB Nation's Crimson and Cream Machine, I'm Matt Holfeld.